Hey, what's going on guys? Sunday here and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review and today we will be covering the X-Craft mod. The X-Craft mod, that's how you say that. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. This mod is very new. Once again, another new mod. This is has been released within the last week and it incorporates many different things. Uh, I'll be going through those now. This mod was actually made by Llama Farmer TV, and <laughs> his link, his YouTube link will be down in the description. The the forum posts, the Planet Minecraft, all be down in the description. Go check that out. Tell them Sunday sent you. Let him know that I am here reviewing his mod, and I will be going through all this. It'll be a quick mod review, but it is very cool. He has a lot planned for this. But first things first, what I think is really cool is the slot machine. It um. That's how you craft it with cobblestone, glass cobblestone, and that is your slot machine. And what this does, it's a slot machine, and it is used by placing gold ingots. It gives you another another use for gold because, excuse me, butter. It gives you another use for butter, and this is what you do. You throw it in there, and it gives you random, random, just a random chance of goodness. You can pick one of them, and that is the flower pot, and you throw another butter in there and you get something else I will take cyan dye and there's like a 5% chance to get something good and you can just throw the whole stack in there and just select as you want oh crap um I think it just shut down okay well um that actually crashed uh, I'm not having very good luck with these new mods but um to the to the mod maker if you shift click these in your slot machine it actually crashes so Maybe work on that. And like I was saying, okay, there we go. There is a very nice find there. Uh, there's like a 5% chance to get something very good like that. So I, I did it. I win. I win the slot machine. Let's move on. Uh, the next block we have here, the only the only two blocks that are added into this are the arcane ores. And what the these are what is these are what are this mod this is what this mod is about so you break these you find these in level 30 and below down there in the earth and it drops those little shards oh no i just broke hogwarts i'm sorry hogwarts i won't do it again uh th those shards arcane slivers and those i will show you what those do in a little bit and these are found in the nether these are soul rocks and they drop rocks and i will show you what those do now actually um this is the infuser this is what this is what this mod is about for the most part this is all based around this for the most part so what this is you put fuel into the infuser and it fills up and if you put an arcane soul gem in there it fills up all the way that's what those arcane soul gems are used for um <clears throat> so those are the arcane gems. These are infused emeralds, infused redstone, infused diamond, and infused lapis. What those are used for, I will show you later what those are used for. And coal. I will show you what coal is used for. Um, it's kind of similar to Tekkit, what coal is used for. Uh, you put coal here, and it'll make glowstone. You put glowstone in there, it'll make a blaze rod, so on and so forth, until you get to a diamond. So, that's what that is used for. Let's throw some more fuel in there, and I will show you how to infuse a diamond. Simple. There's an infused diamond. I will show you what those infused um, emeralds, I'll show you what those infused items do in a minute. But for now, let's move on to the hearthstones. What these hearthstones are, these are... That's the crafting recipes. Uh, I kind of got this backwards. There, I'll fix that. Uh, the cracked hearthstone you can use once. The polished hearthstone you can use ten times. And after you, you can actually replenish it by putting it in the infuser and it gives it full life. But uh, what these do, let's say I take this crafting recipe, I craft it over here and I make it here. Once I make this, it sets my home point at this block. So let's say I am across Minecraftia and I want to get home, I simply use this polished hearthstone and it'll teleport me back here, like so. And I use it. Okay, um, I really, I don't know what's going on here. I used, I used the gem and it threw me down to the end. Or the, the, the bit, abyss. I am now in the abyss. Okay, okay. I don't like this. I'm very scared. How do I... Okay. Okay. I'm good. I'm... Oh, look, there's... There's Quidditch. Okay, I'm I'm back. Uh, I think I know why that happened. It's because I actually didn't craft this polished hearthstone. I spawned it in with too many items, so that might be my fault. Uh, no worries, uh, Llama. 
I, I think that's my fault. But okay, the, those are the hearth stones. So now let's move on to the bread and butter butter of this mod. These are the staffs. And we have the diamond staff, the emerald staff, the redstone staff, and the lapis staffs. And these all have different effects. These are the crafting recipes. You have to make the lapis orb with the infused lapis that I showed you how to do and the ghast tier. And you get the lapis orb. You put the lapis orb on some sticks and you get the lapis staff. And they all have different they all have different um, different effects and I will show you all of them right now let me get out of creative mode actually and there's the diamond okay so all these do different things I will start off with the lapis staff and what this does is it acts as a water bucket simple yet unique water bucket cool moving on <laughs> what this one does is the redstone staff it it places fire in select places, and as you can see here, it threw lava there. It has a, like a 5 or 10% chance to not throw fire, but throw l lava, which is pretty neat, pretty neat. The main goal of this mod, like he was saying in his, in his mod review, he doesn't want to change Minecraft. He just wants to add minor details to it. He doesn't want to completely annihilate Minecraft and change it 100%. So, I think this is pretty neat. And I'm setting villagers on fire. I don't know why they're all back here. I put them I put them all out here, right? So I could make it seem like they're students, but they all like running back here for some reason. But now they must die, right? That's just not right. Okay, so let's move on. The emerald staff. This one's pretty cool. I like this one. It's it's kind of similar to the the one of the gems in Tekkit, where whatever you click on, all the adjacent like blocks will disappear. Like so. That's pretty neat. You can just devastate some mining. And I'm devastating Hogwarts. I'm sorry. There's a troll in the dungeon. That's that's what I'm saying right now. That's I'm a troll, so I'm in the dungeon. No, I'm actually in the cafeteria. But anyways. So yeah, that's what the Emerald Staff does. Let's move on to the Diamond Staff. This one is actually pretty cool. It's kind of, it's funny. It's funny. I like this one because I will show you. You can actually fly with it if you left click it. Hold on. Left click. There we go. Left click, no, right click, and you 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 double space, you double jump, and you can fly, and it loses its uh, its uses, and then you right click to deactivate it, and then when you left click on an entity, like so, it shoots him up in the air quite far. So uh, let me actually go outside and show you how this works. I will spawn in a pig. Actually, I'm gonna spawn in a Rupert. Let's spawn in a Rupert. Come here, Rupert. Let's show you on a Rupert. All right, so diamond staff, kaboom. And it goes way up in the air. Where did you go, Rupert? <laughs> Rupert's floating down. Hello, Rupert. Cool. I think I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. What do you guys think of Hogwarts? I found this on Planet Minecraft. The link will be in the description if you're interested. I found this on Hog I found this on Planet Minecraft. Pretty cool. I like the floating torches. Nice little MC edit and cool. Well, that I'm pretty sure that is much it. That is pretty much it. Uh, he's going to be adding a lot more. This guy, this guy seems to be very intelligent. He finished, uh, graduate school with, like, game design and all that stuff. So, he, he, he has a lot planned. So be on the lookout for this guy. He, I think he is going to be an up and coming mod, mod maker. But, uh, yes. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a quick like and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you all next time.